the Lord is real to you, if you are loyal to the Lord himself, you probably will stand. But if your Christianity, your understanding of the word of God, your understanding of what it means to be a Christian is just to obey certain rules and be a good person, you'll probably not stand. Because only the Lord himself working in you gives you the courage to do so. So last slide, Michael. Three features, I think, that are clear in this passage that illustrate to us what faithfulness is. I use this word mainly because I needed to see her, but um, camaraderie. Does, do you know what that means, camaraderie? Amy, do you know what camaraderie means? Encouraging each other, yeah. Just so camaraderie. I don't even know if they use that word here, but um, camaraderie means just banding together, um, encouraging one another on, having something deeply in common at, at times, and 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 you know sometimes it can be surface level, but we're talking about camaraderie at a deeper level. What I would say to you is make sure you have some good friends that pull you up, with you, that have a heart for God. Be careful when you're at your age, and I've got to be careful at my age, who your friends are. I mean, there's nothing better than choosing your friends wisely, camaraderie. And we see this with, I'm sure it did help, with um, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that they knew that they should stand and not bow down. This camaraderie, this, this togetherness, it is good to find some friends. Now, you know, I noticed in my life, you know, I had a lot of good friends um, once I got saved, and, and they were a big encouragement to me, and, 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 and I looked for people that would pull me forward, uh, that, that were, were wiser than me, that I could learn from, and then I had friends that were, were we were about the same, and, and, and we would, by faith, do things, and, and step out, and pray together, and still be goofy, and all that kind of stuff, but we, we, were, we wanted to serve the Lord, and it, it spurs you on, camaraderie. We see that in Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I don't have a lot of time, so I can't tell you some uh, good illustrations in that regard. I've just got to keep going. Conviction. What do we mean by that? They had a conviction within their heart that they must do what God said no matter the cost. They knew the word of God well enough that they should not bow down and worship any other idol or any idol at all, I should say. They were only to bow before God and worship. They had that strong conviction and they determined not to do so. The third feature would be courage. Courage is not something that um, is easy in a way to come by. But courage is developed as God puts before you a number of perhaps tests and opportunities for you to see that you can trust Him. To see that you can be strengthened by Him. And this was a big test for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Daniel is not around. Who were they looking to? They were looking to the Lord. And He gave them the courage. Listen to, again, turn, keep, keep looking in chapter 3 of... Um, uh, Daniel and uh, verse 16, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this manner. We're not hiding, we're standing. We don't have to give an excuse or, or tell you that we weren't doing it, we did. And they go on to say um, that uh, if we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve, in other words, we are servants, he is our king. The God that we serve, He is able to save us from it. And He can rescue us from your hand, O King. And that is splendid faith. What faith? O King, we can't, we're not defending ourselves. We admit that we didn't bow the knee to that statue. But our God can save us from that fiery furnace. That is splendid faith, absolutely. But it's not reckless faith. Because he goes on to say this, but even if he does not, even if God does not 
We want you to know, O king, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. We will still not do it. God can save us, but he might not. But it doesn't matter. My life is not my own. That's the faith that overcomes the world. That's what God wants to develop in you and me. Faith that overcomes the world. It's tough, I know. When you're younger, you know, you've got your whole life ahead of you, you've got lots of plans. Like, Lord, I want to do your will, but like if you can maybe just key me off a little bit, because I really want to, you know, maybe get married. And I want to go to, you know, um, Australia and, and you know, oh, if you could just it's 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 hard, I admit that. But if not, if the Lord decides not to save us, we're still not gonna do it. They were willing to die for God. To be obedient to God himself. So much in this passage. Can you just drop back, Mike? Just go back all the way. Keep going back. You know, remembering everything we talked about. Okay, well, actually, that one's fixed. My fault. Go forward again. Now we're remembering a bit more. Oh, there we go. We didn't spend much time in it. And I'm, I apologize for that in a way. But I want you to see that. You can take any chapter in the Word of God and read through it and see that it is today relevant, truthful, and timeless. I, I say this all the time, and I don't mean to be, um, you know, I don't know, snarky or old-fashioned, but if the Bible is just but an app on your phone, can you go back one more and one more? It's timeless. Can you go forward one more? Make the Bible something different in your life. I encourage you. I, I, I try to tell my kids. Sure, everyone has the phone. Everyone has it. I mean, like, yeah, that's where we are. It's fine. But make sure you have a Bible alongside you. Yeah, but you know, I, I, I'm just telling you this. Right? You, you know, uh, what well, you don't understand, and, and I, I know I don't. I mean, I, I've probably even said the wrong things. I'm not even trying to say the right things about electronics, but I do know that it makes a difference. I feel like the devil's mocking us. <laughs> when, when all you carry with you, all that you look for, the first thing is your phone. I feel like he's got us where he wants us, completely distracted and overwhelmed. Can you go back one more? I, I, I was talking to my son yesterday morning, and I was looking for 